This is Dr. Gray of the Foundation's Optics Division. An incident occurred recently where a mass of college acceptance emails were sent out to 134 random individuals of college age. This email was addressed to our lucky applicant and was congratulating the individual on being accepted into the Deer College at Three Portlands. The city of Three Portlands is an independent city-state paranormal enclave located within a self-contained pocket universe accessible via portals or ways located around and in Portland, Maine, Portland, Oregon, and the Isle of Portland in the United Kingdom, with an estimated permanent population of approximately 80,000 persons, Three Portlands is the largest paranormal enclave in North America, and is one of the most populous locations to ever be concealed completely behind the veil of secrecy imposed by the SCP Foundation. The University of Deer College combines regular American secondary education with the study of the anomalous. Foundation researchers were able to find more information on this in the form of a brochure that was apparently obtained by an agent living in Three Portlands. The agent claimed that he was volunteering at a community play when a recruiter from the college dropped in. I will now read the brochure verbatim. Introduction Founded in 1948 in Southeast Three Portlands, Deer College is a co-educational liberal arts and sciences college, renowned for its groundbreaking integration of occult studies into a liberal arts curriculum. Deer College is known for its high standards of magical practice, creative thinking, and engaged multi-universal citizenship. Deer students pursue the Bachelor of Arts degree in over 40 majors and concentrations. The curriculum includes a year-long occultism course, broad distribution of requirements, and a senior thesis. Each student constructs their own program of study by pairing a traditional major with a concentration in an occult field, or chooses from a number of established interdisciplinary majors. A 9 to 1 student-faculty ratio and small conference-style classes allow faculty members to truly mentor students and engage with them in individual discussions. Deer College is an institution of higher education in the occult arts and sciences devoted to the intrinsic value of intellectual and magical pursuits and governed by the highest standards of scholarship, critical thought, and creativity. Since its founding in 1948 as an independent undergraduate institution, Deer College has remained steadfast to one central commitment to provide a balanced and comprehensive magical education fulfilling the highest standards of academic excellence. History of the College Deer College was founded in 1948 and its first classes were held in 1950. Deer is named for Reed College, its mundane counterpart in Portland, Oregon. Its founders, Zachary Knorr and Matthias Sabo, were Reed alumni who were dissatisfied with the lack of occult studies at their alma mater and decided to found a college of occult arts and sciences in three Portlands upon the multiversal shadow of Reed itself. By summoning the spirits of Reed's founders, Simeon and Amanda Reed, and binding them to the three Portlands parallel to the land on which their college stood, Nor and Sabo were able to stabilize Reed's multi-universal shadow and conjure from the ether the Deer College campus as it stands today. Deer's first president was Zachary Nor, who served from 1948 to 1956. The current college president is Benjamin Lund, who assumed the office in 2011. Inclusion and Diversity Deer College is a community dedicated to serious and open magical inquiry, one in which students, faculty, and staff can fully participate regardless of ethnicity, race, species, religion, age, gender identity, sexual orientation, nationality, universe of origin, socioeconomic status, disability, mortality, or corporeality. Numerous Deer scholarships are available to students from marginalized backgrounds, and certain groups of students have access to housing options that allow them to live with others who share their unique struggles. Academics 
a Deere College education balances a broad knowledge across the curriculum with an in-depth knowledge in a particular field of study. Students create their own major from two fields of study, one in mundane and the other occult. Each student is advised by a professor from each of their departments, receiving one-on-one -on -one guidance from both. Deere's academic divisions are separated into mundane divisions and occult divisions, with the exceptions of divisions like metaphysics and divination, which include both mundane and occult departments. Attached to the original email is a video introduction for incoming Froshmans. Playing video now. Welcome, freshmen, to the worst four years of your life. Well, 4.5 on average, but who's counting? At your time here at Deer, you'll experience terrors and horrors the likes of which you have never seen before. Five-hour thaumaturgy labs, consecutive all-night cram sessions, bottomless mugs of cafeteria coffee, and the all-seeing eyes of the community staff members. And at the end of it all, if you manage to survive, the dreaded senior thesis. Your physical health will deteriorate alongside your psychological health and your theological health. You will churn out paper after paper, each one on a topic more arcane than the last. Your parents will ask you what you're studying and you will find yourself unable to answer. You will emerge from this experience a bitter, broken soul who hangs around campus long after graduation, hitting on people years younger than you in an attempt to relive the glory days long before you were ground up by the gears of this terrible machine we call academia. Eventually, you will move on, leaving behind only footprints and terrible curses that haunt campus for years and maybe even decades to come. It's not all bad, though. In every dark cloud, there is a silver lining. You will meet interesting and intelligent people and form bonds and friendships that will last at least one lifetime, if not more. Your mystical expertise will be honed to a razor's edge, as will your ability to get that one libertarian in your philosophy class to shut up for once and let someone else speak. You will learn things that man was not meant to know, perform experiments and deeds that contradict the laws of nature, and finally be able to see reality for the illusion that it is. Maybe even while sober. And once you're done, and you've slain the thesis snake, and you've finished your group requirements, and you've crossed the stage, you will receive your final reward. A fancy piece of paper with your name on it that's not actually good for anything in the real world because the FBI says that we can't tell anyone where we went to school. At the end of the day, remember, it could be worse. You could be going to Harvard. Welcome to Deer College. Okay. Well, at least they're honest about the college experience. Note, I have managed to find some online lecture videos by the same individual. He has been identified as Salas Sermo, and he is a professor of pataphysics at Deer College. Hopefully I will be able to broaden my knowledge of the anomalous world while also documenting what type of subject matter is discussed at a transdimensional liberal arts school. Update on the Prism Mate's most recent retrieval mission. The team leader, Sarah Kelsky, led the squad into a forest populated with oversaturated color entities. These creatures were clearly not related to me, but still needed to be captured. Despite Sarah's best efforts, one of our men was lost. His name was Johan. He was 24. Just about my age. One of the creatures grabbed him and turned him into a blob of purple-colored flesh. I... I hope it at least wasn't painful. I know that being a member of this team means that death is just right around the corner at all times, but I feel off. He was 24, for God's sake. 
This is why the Foundation is here in the first place. To capture things like this, so they can't hurt anyone. This is Dr. Gray signing off.